Jesus followers ignited education in the common era for these reasons. Number one, Christ followers celebrated the life of the mind. Jesus encouraged his followers to worship God with their intellectual and rational abilities. Once when a skeptic asked Jesus, teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? Jesus replied, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. Jesus was a thinker, and he encouraged his followers to be similarly committed to using their minds. Number two, Christ followers collected and protected knowledge. The early Christians were also thinkers who studied the scriptures as the word of God. Moses started this educational emphasis many centuries earlier among the Jewish people. And these words that I command you today shall be on your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children and shall talk of them when you sit in your house. The third reason is that Christ followers were called to make disciples. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. Jesus commanded his followers to make disciples and a crucial requirement for that was becoming teachers of the word. Igniter number four is that Christ followers embraced a teaching culture. Jesus himself was both a learner and a teacher. As a child, he sat at the feet of instructors in the temple, then spent his entire ministry teaching his disciples. A disciple is not above his teacher, but everyone, when he is fully trained, will be like his teacher. So important was education to the second and third century Christians that new believers were catechized and educated for lengthy periods of time prior to their baptism. Fifth, Christ followers embraced their responsibility to share the gospel. Jesus followers took the command to go therefore and make disciples seriously. They branched out into the world and immediately encountered a significant obstacle. Discipleship was dependent on the scriptures, but not every new people group could read. In fact, some groups didn't even possess an alphabet of their own. But that didn't stop Christian missionaries. For example, Ufalus was born into captivity in 311 CE in a region controlled by the Goths, but eventually became a Christian missionary to the region. He went so far as to invent an entire alphabet to help him translate the Bible into the Gothic language. And the translating hasn't stopped. Today, the Bible has been partially translated into over 3,400 languages representing 6.9 billion people and completely translated into 704 languages representing 5.7 billion people. Jesus' followers have contributed massively to advancing literacy across the globe.